Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be teaching you on how you can make your very own Game Pass store inside of Roblox Studio. So before we get into this video, I'm just going to quickly show you on how it works inside of Roblox. So let's walk up to this part here. And you can see I don't have the Game Pass, so it asks me if I want to buy it. Let's just click yes. And now let's try going. And you can see it opens. Once again, the door isn't anchored, so it just fell through. But in your game, you can make it anchored so it doesn't fall through the floor. So now let's head over to Roblox Studio, and I'll now teach you how to make this. Alright, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio. To start, we're going to click Base Plate. And then once we're loaded in, we're going to create a part, which is actually going to be our VIP door. So it's loading the place, so let's just give it a bit of time. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click this part button and you can see it appears. Let's scale it to our liking. Then let's slide it across. And now really important thing, this is what I didn't do, but I didn't anchor it. So make sure you click this little anchor button up here. And now this won't be falling through the floor. And now let's start off with this script. So local scripts can't run inside of workspace. So we're going to have to put this inside of started UI. So let's click the plus button and then type in local script and enter. And let's just call this local script uh, VIP manager or VIP door manager. There we go. Now, first things first, we're going to have to be importing the marketplace service. So the marketplace service will allow us to check if the user has a game pass and prompt them to buy a game pass if they don't have it. So let's just say local marketplace service equal game get service marketplace service. Now we're going to drop a few lines and then we're going to say local door equal game dot workspace and let's just rename our VIP door to be VIP door. So let's do name and VIP door. There we go. It's now called VIP door. Local door equal game dot workspace dot door or VIP door. And then now we're going to get the player so we can say local player equal game dot players dot local player. So now we got the local player. And then we're going to say local game pass ID equals zero. Now it's really important that we have a published game, otherwise we won't be able to create game passes. So let's do Alt P and let's just call this VIP door test. And then let's create this. Now we're going to have to create a game pass. Now head to roblox.com slash create and then click manage my experiences. It might take you a second to load in, but once you get there, we're going to go over to VIP door test, the place we just created. We're going to click this cog, and then we're going to click manage passes or create passes. Once it loads in, we will be shown this little UI. It might take a second to load in, so wait until you see this. And let's just give this pass a name. So I'm going to call this VIP door, and then you must select a file, so I'm just going to choose a dummy file here. You don't actually need to use one of your files. So I'm just going to pick a cookie picture I have. And then it might rename the pass to the picture you uploaded. So just change that back to the text you have before. And I'm just going to give it a quick description. Get access to the VIP section. Now let's click preview. And you can see it has a picture and it has the name. And then let's click verify upload. Now let's give it a few seconds. Here it is. And now what we want to do is we want to click on configure. And you can see we have our picture, we have our name and we have our description. But now we want to actually sell this game pass. So when you first create a game pass, it won't be put on sale. So let's head over to sales and then let's click item for sales. Now let's give this item a price so you'll earn 70 percent so roblox will take 30 percent so for example if i sell this for 30 for so for example if i sell this for 100 robux i'll get 70 robux just as a test i'll set it to one however you can customize this to your liking and then a really important step make sure you click save and we can verify this has all worked by clicking on go to details and you can see we all have the game pass and now 
by default, game passes that you'll create, you'll get them automatically. So you can see it says item owned. I didn't actually have to pay the Robux to get it, which is useful so you can test without having to buy anything. Also, keep in mind all purchases in Roblox Studio actually are just test purchases and your account won't be charged. But that's besides the point, let's get the Game Pass ID. So the Game Pass ID is this number up in the URL, and then let's right click on it, and then let's click copy. That's everything we need to do inside of our browser. So now we can close out of our browser, and we're back in Studio, and let's head back to the script we're editing, and we can replace the zero with our number. Now let's drop a line and let's add a debounce, so this will stop the touch function from being spammed and we can do this by saying local debounce equal false now let's detect when our door is touched so we can say door dot touched connect function and now we need to make sure that we're getting what actually touched the part so we can say touched and now we're going to say local part parent equals and we're going to say touch dot parent so the parent of what touched the part of the door. To make sure whatever touches the door is a humanoid, we're going to say local humanoid equal part parent, bind first child, which is a, and then humanoid. And then we're going to drop a line. Oops, accidentally made a mistake. We're going to drop a line and we're going to say if humanoid. So if it is a human, then if debounce equal false, then. So if the debounce is also set to false, debounce equals true. So now this function can't fire while this code is running. And now we need to check if this user owns the game pass. So we can say if marketplace service user owns game pass sync player dot use ID and then game pass ID then. So if the user ID owns this game pass ID, door dot cancelide, there we go, dot cancelide equal false. Else marketplace service prompt game pass purchase and then player and game pass ID wait three and then debounce equal false looks like i made a little id i accidentally made pass capital so let's fix that and voila and now you can see prompt game pass purchase and let me quickly explain this code if the player does own the game pass the door will be set to false and you'll be able to go inside and if you don't own the game pass you'll be charged and then you can try it again so that's all for today's video if you have any issues with this code or you need any help, just go to your browser and then go to forms.thecookie.dev. And myself or a scripter will help you. Thank you for tuning in and bye bye. <laughs>